Okay, so we're doing part A of Let's Play Broken Sword, The Shadow of the Templars. Now, um, the first seven parts are already on YouTube, so feel free to go and check them out. Uh, if you are watching this live on Twitch, then hello, welcome, get involved in the chat. And uh, obviously, I'll make sure that I do my best to respond to you. Right, so I'm going to jump straight back in where we left off last time. So um, if you haven't watched those videos, if you've played the game before, it'll make sense. If not, you would have missed a lot of the story, but fuck it, stick around anyway. Okay, so in the last stream, um, we had just finished the hospital scene. And now, it's been a while since I did that one. Now I'm oh, trying hi. to figure out where we've got to go. Hello, my handsome friend. Hey, Zodiac, how are you? Have you seen anyone out here watching Mademoiselle Collard's apartment? Yes, I have. A strange man, tall and thin as a broomstick. He kept his face hidden, but I saw his eyes peering from evil little slits. How was he dressed? Evil little slits. A long brown raincoat with a hat. Or like Humphrey Bogart? Yes, but he didn't have Bogart's charisma. Besides... This guy looked like he needed a toilet. You never saw Bogart clenching his buttocks like that. Nice. See you later. That's right, monsieur. You, you will. will. Zodiac, how's the, um, how's the stream? Is it all okay? There's no lag or anything? Is the sound okay? Right, where am I going? Airport. Off to Syria. No, there's no cam on the PC, unfortunately, at the moment. I'm getting a, um, a camera set up so I can do picture-in-picture picture soon. Hey there, young fella. Speaky you the English? Speaker you the Anglaise? The Anglaise. Uh, Parlez-vous Anglais? Yes, see, si, and indeed we. Oui. And rather better than you by the sound of it. <laughs> my name is Nijo. Welcome to my grand emporium of quality merchandise. Okay. So Talk about this is grand stand? emporium. Oh, yes, sir. Though stand does not begin to do it justice. The finest in this bustling metropolis. This is a bustling metropolis? Well, not per se, no. No, I was doing trials on the Xbox One yesterday when I was doing that stream. Um, I'm on the PC today. How much are those books there on the shelf? Have you any Syrian pounds? I think I might have a couple of Irish puns. Then they're too expensive for you, sir. Showing the age of the game now, Irish punt. You speak very good English. Thank you, sir. I learned from tapes that my uncle procured. Oh, a language course. No, sir. Jeeves and Wooster. Gussie, Fink, Notto, Aunt Agatha, what hole? <laughs> what what? Jolly good. That's not a very friendly cat you got there, Nijo. No, sir. It is a very unfriendly cat. Why do you keep it? Oh, it's not mine. It just rests where it pleases. And today, it pleases to rest there. As Kipling would say, it is a cat that walks by itself. Fiercely independent. And it smells. Smelly cat, smelly cat. What are they feeding you? Does the word Templar mean anything to you? Templar. Templar! Why, yes, of course! It does? Yes! A splendid series of books by Mr. Leslie Chatteris. 
featuring the roguish Mr. Simon Templer. Great. That's a real help, Nijo. Anything else? The Saint television program featuring Mr. Roger Moore of the quizzical eyebrow and a stick man with a halo. Bing! Bing! So, Zodiac, do you know anything about, um, about Broken Sword? Do you know what this game is? So all Templar means to you is Roger Moore. I only watched it for the stick man with the halo. Bing. Bing. He was better animated. So I'm correct in saying that the word Templar doesn't mean much to you. Well, there was the order of knights who were wiped out in an inquisition in 1312, I suppose. That's them. What else do you know? Just how much information do you think there is on a Trivial Pursuit card? A what? From the medieval edition. We had it on the stand a couple of years ago. Ask me what a future is. Go on, I know all this stuff. Uh, never mind. Okay, well, I'm gonna finish talking to Nico. I'm just gonna... Okay, forget about the Templars. Not Nico. What do you know about Nico? Nijo, that's Knights. his name. The Crusaders, they came to the east on an inst... They sacrificed thousands of lives, including their own, for insensate pride. How anyone can find them romantic confounds me. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. I take it this isn't your kind of game then, Zodiac. As I didn't see the point of going all the way over there to get scratched, I stayed where I was. Pearl and Dwayne? Hello. I was wondering whether you could help me. Why, hi there, handsome. What can I do for you? Hi, my name's George. I was just... Well, it certainly is delightful to meet you, George. I was... My name's Mrs. Henderson, but you can call me Pearl, I'm sure. Okay, Pearl. I was... So nice to meet a friendly American face so far from home. Pearl? Yes, dear? I was just wondering if you could help me. Why, sure, precious. So... Tell me a little... Me? Oh, gentle... Well, my husband and I run a greetings card company in a cute little place called Akron in Ohio. Akron? Cute? Little? Okay, nobody cares about most of this stuff. We need to, uh... Just progress in the game. I'm not going to do all the side stuff. Around, Pearl? Well, as a matter of fact, yes, he is. Sorry to disappoint you. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a group of knights called the Templars? Sounds familiar. I remember. Dwayne had a book. The Holy Something and the Holy Something Else I can't quite recall. I read a little of it. And? Seemed like a lot of hooey to me. Have you talked to the boy on the brick of- Oh, you've met him? His name's Nijo, you know. Oh, he's just so cute. I could die. I'd love to bundle him and take him back to Ohio. He might not thank you. I'm looking for something ancient, you know. Something to impress the folks back home. The poor boy was trying to do his best, but we still haven't found anything. Do you know anything about medieval weaving? I do a little needlework, but gosh. It's okay. It was a long shot. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. Okay, well that was a waste of time. Let's talk to her husband. Hi, uh, I was wondering whether you could help me. Why sure, son. Always got time for a fellow American. The name's Henderson. Dwayne Henderson. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Henderson. Hell, boy. I'm not in the office. Call me Dwayne. Oh, okay. Dwayne? My name. You're a long way from home. Could say the same about you. Me? Well, I'm just without a camera. Kind of lags to come all this way and not take pictures. 
Mind if I take a picture of you, George? What? Why? Ow! You could have warned me. You don't mind, do you? The folks back home will be real interested. What exactly do you do, Dwayne? Didn't I say? Oh, I run a greeting card company. Yep, we're based in Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland? Cleveland? Pearl said you're in Akron. What was that? Uh, nothing. Just thinking out loud. Pearl writes the poems for her. You ought to ask her to recite some. How long have you been married, Dwayne? Hell, must be, uh, 30 years now. Right, let's get back to the actual game. Do you think bulls have any significance around? Weird quest. Nope, I don't think... I saw a medieval picture of a woman. Royalty or nobility, something like that. She was looking in a mirror, but the reflection was of a man with three faces. What do you think of that? I think you should be in therapy. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask? Okay. Do you know anything about the knights? Yep. Nope. Well, you knew they were in order of what I know and what I, I say, say I know are two different things, boy. I haven't lasted as long as I have in this business without knowing that. In this business? Sure. The greetings card business. Oh, please. Does the image of a knight hold? Hell no. What would a knight? I don't know. That's the. What's wrong, boy? It's not a crystal ball. It all came together in my head. What the conspirators had mentioned losing. The strain. It's a lens. Have you talked? Nee, Joe. He's the youngster on that junk stand, right? Yeah, we've met him. He's a smart kid. Speaks four languages, and he's never had a day's formal education. He should go far. Kept trying to peddle garbage on us, though. You're not going to find much worthwhile around here. I know that, and you know that. But try telling Pearl. She reckons there's antiquities in them, Doris Dam. Okay. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it. Sorry, I've been a bit quiet there. I was, uh, I was texting. So, we've spoken to Dwayne, we've spoken to Pearl, spoken to Nijo. This guy here, you can't actually speak to, but I do like this scene. I, I love the Syria bit, you know, with all the spices and stuff like that. Uh, but this guy here has got a fruit and veg stall, but he keeps pulling out what looks like a pie or a bit of cake or something, eating it and looking very happy with himself, very pleased with himself. So, I don't know what exactly it is he's eating, but it's clearly not the fruit and veggies trying to push off onto everybody else. Now, that's not something you see every day in the uh, this part of the world. Somebody wearing a Union Jack penny. Hi, what's your name, sir? Hello, hello, you bike kebab. Most good. Most good. Okay, there's no point talking to him because all he can say is kebab. What do you make of this? Buy kebab. Most, Most good. good. Well, goodbye. Have a nice day. Most good. Most good. I do quite, quite fancy a kebab, actually. In the still air, the smell hung around like bad smells do. It was a kebab stand, and an ugly one at that. A kebab stand. It's a bloody bench. It's a table. Hardly a kebab stand, is it? Right. Well, he's a creepy little looking little bastard, isn't he? Doesn't look at all dodgy. Where have we seen that pattern before? Right there. There you go. Hi. Hello, sir. Lovely carpet. Does Lovely carpet. carpet. Mean anything to you? Ah, give to me. Give, give to me. me. Alamut. Alamut. All right, let me in then. There we go. Beyond his lovely carpets or a set of stairs.
Many beneficent greetings, my most fortunate possible friend. Huh? Do I know you, mister? No. No. And again I say, no. But, my friend, do you not see our mutual good thought? How frank do you want me to be? You are a traveler, yes? Boy, you must be the world's greatest detective. <laughs> no, I, as contrast, am world's greatest luxury taxi driver. I can see where this is going. I am Ultar. Ultar. Taxi driver and... This I had to hear. Where does your heart desire to go? Simply mention the name to your obedient servant and we shall fly there, swift as the eagle. Oh, well, I don't really want to leave Marib yet, but I'm sure that if I do, you'll be the first to... He's good. You know where you want to go, you come to Ultar. Thanks. See you around, Ultar. Be having a pleasant day, full of shining experiences and happiness, my friend. Oh, what a lovely man. And he's got a fantastic mustache. This guy's got a little Hitler mustache going on. Hi. Nice club you've got here. I was wondering if you could help me. Hey. What? I mean, I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, but I don't understand. No surprise there, all righty. He says sorry, but he not speak English. Uh, but he didn't say anything. He not have tongue. No tongue? What happened? It was bet. And he lost. He, he won. won. You should see other chappy. Oh, yes. Now that's a, that's a dodgy bet. I hadn't felt the need to spit since I was 12. <laughs> Good for you. Let's go to the toilet. Damn, the door's locked. Uh, I'm sorry? D did you say something? He say you not to go in toilet. Read sign, maybe. Matey. It lose something in translation. <laughs> R, matey. By staring hard at the notice and squinting, I discovered I couldn't understand a word of it. Hello again, Ultar. Great hello! And possible... Well, you never know. Would you... He's most agreeable. This is how Ultar left. Okay, so, I want to go to the toilet. Could you tell me what that sign means? It's a door stay shut until brush come back. Signed, the management. Oh, well, what does that mean? Manager buy lovely new toilet brush, leaves it by wash basin for ten minutes, come back, it been stealing. Stealing. So, not even out of wrapper. He damn cross. Lock up toilet and say, nobody use fine pristine toilet until brush given back. We say, what we do till then, eh? He say, cross legs and use superior willpower. And that's what you've been doing? No. Ultar use bucket. Nice. Right, well, let's talk about the kebab man. What do you know about the kebab seller? A most miserable man. Ultar say, cheery up, matey mate, it might never happen. And he say, shut up, Ultar. Fancy that. Not at all. Arto has face like the drizzle that falls on the midweek afternoon. Whatever that is. I like this guy. He's got a he's got a way with words. Have you met the American couple? Have Ultar met them? Have Ultar met them? Yes, Ultar have met them. And? The most ungenerous. Ultar offer... They say, is there anything ancient? Ultar... They say, no, anything ancient made by men. And Ultar say, have you seen taxi? But they gone. <laughs> okay, right. Let's see have you seen if he knows before? the guy we're looking oh, for. Oh, certainly. Was here only yesterday. Here? Yesterday? My God, he's close. Yes, he was asking a lot of questions, just like you. What did he ask about? He asked about American called Stobby. Stobart? Yes, Stobart. You know him. The killer knew my name. What else did he ask about? He asked about German man called Klobner. I tried to remember the name of the man the conspiracy had lost in Syria. Was his name Klausner? Sure, that is what Voltaire said. Klausner. I told this man in the picture, Klausner wanted to go up to Bur 
Hold on. He wanted to be Bull's Head, Big Hill, ten mile out of town. When was that? Maybe sixty. Oh, maybe a week ago. <laughs> what can you tell me about the East Most Magnificent? How do I get there? No. Let you need fine luxury guide to take you. Woe is me. We and Ultar is most luxurious guide for most literally some way in any direction. Gee willikers, lucky old me. Are you Gee willikers. my pleasant and luxuriant set? Yes. All right, let's go. First, I regret the formalities. A trip to the bull's head. Fifty Yankee dollars, please. Fifty bucks? I don't have fifty bucks. Oh, most unhappy event. Ultar then... Hold on, Ultar. Is there nothing I could barter with you? Word that it was so, beloved friend. But my taxi needs gas, and its muffler needs the muffler doctor. Trading for these things is not possible. My heart weeps for the injustice, but it's bucks of zip for unfortunate American. Always confuses me why George goes to all these countries. He takes some plaster of Paris, a ball, a red nose, a photo, you know, all this crap here. Um, obviously the sewer key. And yet he forgets to take any money. No matter where he goes, he has no money. I don't get it. Where does he stay? Right, we need some money. Let's go find some. So, we know that Pearl and Dwayne are looking for something old. They're looking to buy something old, which means they've got money. But we don't have anything old. So, going to have to find something old or something that looks old. Oh, hang on. Let's go and have a look at the kebab man again. Have a look at his... Uh, Suddenly, I realized the horrific truth. The guy was basting the kebabs with a toilet brush. It may never have seen the inside of a toilet bowl, but it was still hardly appetizing. Ah, it's clean, who cares? Give me the brush. Hello again, sir. Hello. Kebab. Mmm, yes. Yes. He loves his kebabs. Well, goodbye. Most Most good. Right, so he's not just gonna give it to me, so I have to try and get hold of toilet brush. Okay, so, if you have a look here, you can see all this bric-a-brac that he's got on the shelves. This is slightly standing out, and so is this. So it makes me think that you can obviously interact with these items somehow. So if we press this button, his dad or mum, I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be, uh, comes out, I'm pretty sure it's his dad. Massive tits. So let's give this ball the kid. Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. What do you think of this? Eh? Oh, sir. One day, when I am rich, I am going to build a world-renowned collection of brightly colored balls. Are you serious? In deadly earnest, people will come from far and wide to, to see my balls. Yes, collection. The Rockefellers <laughs> and the Gettys can keep their hordes of so-called fine. But answer me this. What good is a Picasso, I ask you, if you cannot bounce it off a wall? You may have a point. He's got a very good point. Okay. No good at all, is it? Well, give him, give him the ball. Hi, Nijo. Hello? Seriously, do you... Take it out. I'll swap it for something... Um... Due to seasonal financial considerations, I mean... I thought you wanted this thing. I do, sir. This stand doesn't. Which in translation meant it's not really my... And I'll be in big trouble if I swap anything for something that I want myself. Alternatively, is there... Not at the moment, but I'll bear it in mind. Okay. 
Hi, Nijo. We need to get him to go and get the toilet brush. And how may I help you? Who's the guy selling? Oh, that's Arto. A miserable, miserable blighter. blighter. To be sure, sir. He doesn't seem very happy. He never is. Day in, day out, a face like a wet Wednesday. Whatever one of those is. Does he speak any English? Not cogently, no. Look, this is going to sound... What? The brush he bastes the kebabs with? Yes. Let me find some dirty postcards for you instead. <laughs> Nijo, this is serious. Ardo stole that brush he's using from a friend, and I want to get it back. Perhaps I could help you, old chap. Uh, maybe... Maybe perhaps? Per maybe what? I do not wish to see mercenaries, sir, but uh, I am... Merchant? This isn't Sears and Robot. Well, if you're going to be disagreeable... No, no, you're right. Uh... I seem to recall that you have something that... A globe of delight. A Rubicon spheroid of heavenly... You mean the ball, don't you? A tiny... If you mean the ball, why don't you just say so? Can I have the ball back, mister? Yes. All right, here you go. People say bad things about Americans, but you're okay in my book. What people? What bad things? Never mind that now. Oh, people. The Lots of bad things. Right, yes, the brush. All you have to do with Arto is be polite. It lightens his day, makes it all worthwhile for him again. How can I be polite to the guy when I can't speak a word of Syrian? Arabic. That's what I meant. Simply memorize this phrase. Il ach il kalb. Il, il ach il kalb. Close enough. Now, go over to Arto and deliver those honeyed words even unto his del- He won't be a- Really? Really. Okay. Let's See go around, in Nijo. il ach il kalb. For now. At altar. Now, I appreciate this is probably not one of the most exciting Rock games to watch um, oh, on Twitch, mm. live streaming. And it's difficult yeah. to talk too much because obviously people want to hear the story. But um, I know a, a big group of cow? people that like to watch this. Filthy, bad, bad. I kill you. Oh dear. Whoa, calm down. I just. Feet, do you? Run away. Run, George. Run. Go back down, even though the maniac's still down here. And yet, all of a sudden, he's not bothered. And let's go and find out what Nijo made me say to him. Hi, Nijo. What the heck did you tell me to tell him? Patience. Patience? Patience? I've been chased by a ho But consider, sir, while you are the irate Arto... Hold on. Are you telling me that I've been used as a diversionary tactic? Your brush, sir. I better get that. I can't believe that you put me on that kebab seller's death list for a toilet brush. The ends... Yeah. But I noticed it wasn't your butt. That they also serve who. Oh, spare me. What exactly does Il Akul Kalb mean? Do I have your word that you won't get angry? Okay, just tell me. It means, more or less, that you thought that Arto made his kebabs from dog meat. No wonder he went crazy. Dog food? Sheesh! Not dog food, sir. Dog meat. As in dog. Sorry about hey, that. Joe? You gave your word, sir! Is that your father lurking in the back of the stand? He is indeed. A roaring fellow. Ayub's his name. You don't sound like you respect him very much. Don't I? Not only do I respect him, I rather like him. For all his bluster, we get on very well. I met Ah, oh, he's not. You know how he speaks in Pidgin English? That's how he speaks in Arabic, too. What do you know about... Oh. Is that all? 
The chap's a little odd. It's a funny thing. But I get the impression she's a... Okay. So long, Nijo. Stop playing with your ball, dude. I need him to stop playing with his ball. Then I can get this. Clearly it's not going to happen yet, though. Maybe... I can force it. I've played this game so many times, and... I know what I've got to do here, but... I really don't want to. Okay. I'll have to go and give the guy his brush back, go to the toilet, come back, and then he should be playing with his ball. With a bit of luck. So once I get in the taxi to um, Bull's Head Hill, I'm going to end the video. But that's a little way off yet. I've got to find the uh, got to find the money first to pay taxi driver to take us there, and that takes a bit of doing. So let's give the brush back to this guy. Hello again, friend. There wasn't much point in trying to launch an in-depth when I couldn't speak Arabic and he couldn't speak. Period. Well, I did know a few, but doubted the wisdom of using them. Here's your brush, sir. It wasn't easy getting it. The manager took the brush from me, gave me the toilet key. What was all that about? Manager, he say, bah, look at state of this. Need much cleaning and detergent before go around my you bend. He said all that? Body language account for much, you know? Oh yes indeedy. Yes indeedy. Right, let's use the key. Go to the toilet. Get what we need from here. And then hopefully Nijo will be playing with his red ball. Hopefully. Okay, so obviously you've got your funny looking little Arabic toilet thing there. I don't really know how you would use those. It doesn't look very comfortable. But at least put some handrails on so you can hold on when you're squatting to have a crap. I think I want this towel. Give me this towel. No, use the key on the cupboard and nick the towel. So he's got his, uh, got his toilet brush back, but now he's got no towel. Now I do like to, I do like that, the reflection when he leans in, that's pretty cool. But any games where I can, I always like to leave the toilet, the toilets, I always like to leave the sinks running and go to the toilet, but it won't actually let me on, in this game. I hadn't drunk anything since the morning, and I didn't need to use it. Okay, well, let's go. Managed to steal a towel. That's... that's something. So, go downstairs. There's no point talking to him, we still haven't got the money. So, let's go and see if he's playing with his balls yet. really need him to be bouncing his ball off the wall. See, now, I was saying earlier on about him not taking money anywhere with him. To be fair, if he did take money, these games would be a lot easier, because we can just... We wouldn't have to do any of this stuff. We could just pay the guy. Right, there we go. Touch the cat. Cat jumps up there. Press the button. Dad will come out. Hit the ball, hit the cat. Cat should knock that thing off. 
And here we are, we've got ourselves a little broken statue. Okay, so, we've now got something... Sorry, we've now got something... It looks oldish, but well, no, it doesn't look old. But it looks shipped with both arms broken off, like something. Just looks like a cheap clay thing. So what have we got in our possession? We've got this. It was the soggy tissue I'd found in the sewers. Now that soggy tissue, if you've not played this game before, that soggy tissue has um, some makeup on it. It's a uh, face paint that clowns wear. So if we rub that on there. The plaster seemed to soak up the grease paint until it began to look like stone. There we go. So now we've got an old stone statue. We can sell that to Pearl. Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. What do you think of this fine piece of ancient statuary? Oh, my, that's just what I've been looking for. Would you like it? Would I ever? I'm not carrying the money, though. If you go and find Dwayne, he'll pay you for it. If he gives you any trouble, just tell him that I want it. There you go. Come here, then. Hi there, Dwayne. Give us the money. Somebody's really trying to get hold of me. Hi there, George. Got a message saying How English mustard. Not American or French. I don't know what the hell they're on about, but... Apparently, it's got to be English mustard. What do you think of this? Good gravy. Looks old. Yeah, I had to turn this town upside down. Boy, your luck's better than ours. I wouldn't know. What'll they say back home? How? Oh, I couldn't. It's the find of a lifetime. Fifty bucks. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Right, so we got our fifty bucks. Let's and go here you go. Let's go and get in the uh Let's go and get the taxi driver. We won't talk to him about any of this stuff. Okay. Count on. If you decide to play the game yourself, I do recommend you go through absolutely everything on your first your first playthrough so you can get all of the lines of dialogue. Okay, so upstairs. Up these stairs. And let's go and give 50 bucks to uh, the taxi driver. Right, so let's get our money. 50 bucks. Pay this guy. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am. Look, Ultar. $50. You. A splendid sum. Exactly sufficient for an exciting air conditioned trip to the bull's head. What say you? Yes, let's go. Okay, it's a deal. Here's the. Ah, most splendid. As you say, the cash price moolah is correct. That's Mister, exactly what we, we said. make with haste. Where exactly is your taxi? Because the only vehicle I can see around here is an aging army surplus truck. Yes? Ah. Okay. Nice shoes. I want some pointy shoes like that. It didn't seem right to take off with the toilet keys, so I left them on the bar. He has no problem stealing anything, but the toilet keys, he wouldn't steal. Seriously? I and mean, he stole somebody's tools, he stole splendid. armor, he stole somebody's ID, he stole some medical equipment, he stole the bloody the chain to touch the, to flush the toilet along with the towel, but he won't take the keys. That's your tack. Oh yes, most assuredly. It looks like an old arm. Bah! You Americans with your checkerboard caps and your Judd Hershey's. You have lost sight of what a taxi is. About four tons, but... There, you have hit the nail in the nutshell. <laughs> okay, already, let's go. 
Regrettably not, most esteemed pair. There is a minor problem of a tiny nature. The fan belt has taken it upon itself. So, what are you gonna... What can I do? I must wait for... How long is that gonna take? One day? Maybe, maybe six. six. I can't wait that long. We gotta get moving. But how by... I'll think of some... Right, well, let's give him this towel is that we this stole. Is any use to you? My friend, the very thing, yes! Ultar took the towel from me, cut it in two lengthways, and gave me half back. With his half, he did the kind of fan belt replacement that's normally done with stockings. Now, if I knot the ends together, so... Serviceable, yes? Very serviceable indeed. Stockings might work on a Bentley, but on a truck, the coarse toweling did the job nicely. Come along, my friend. You want to see the bull's head? Yes! Yes. Let's go. Not sure why the cutscene looks so bad. I think it's something to do with the fact that it has to run via Scum VM now, because um, it never used to look that grainy. It's actually quite, quite pretty the uh, scenery and stuff. But I've noticed every time I've played this copy, which is um, which is a DVD copy which inclu includes Scum VM, so it works on newer machines. Uh, it's always looked a bit grainier. It doesn't look quite as nice. Right, so here we are. We're finally at Bull's Head Hill. I'm going to end the video there, and uh, the next one, we're going to see what we need to do at Bull's Head Hill. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, join us for the next part of Broken Sword. And um, hopefully we haven't got too many more videos to go, and I can get this one completed and move on to the next one. Okay, take care guys. Bye.